Yes, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, welcome to lecture number 20. Uh, in lecture number 19, we have learned the natural convection flow and the types of the convection. We have a force convection and free convection. But now, what about the application of the free and force convection? Uh, we also uh, learned some um, techniques and uh, application of free convection like in uh, fridge and uh, freezer, the cooling compartment and the top of the sides to have a uniform temperature by the natural convection flow. Uh, and also as well as the force convection example, we have a, a cooling fan in the laptop that cool down over the internal circuit of the uh, PC or laptop. Also there will be uh, now the fridges are coming with the force convection flow. The cooling plate, you, when you open the fridge, you, you won't find any cooling plate. And the cooling plate is hidden behind the block and the whole uh, fridge is cooled down by the force convection there there's a fan installed in it and the fan uh, pushes that cold air throughout the compartment and we, uh, both have a different uh, pros and cons in the natural convection flow we have a less energy related with the because there will be no fan so the flow of the air is totally free and it is natural flow uh, but in the force convection the fan is installed in the uh, in the fridge which, which forces here from the top to bottom and uh, make a uniform temperature throughout the fridge but uh, by additional uh, energy of a fan by putting additional energy by running the fan by additional electrical energy but both have some uh, advantages and disadvantages the disadvantages uh, in uh, natural convection cooling plate in fridge is uh, the we, we found the uh, uh, we found the uh, cold layer in the uh, cooling plane. We have a we have a uh, layer of icing. We have a ice layer in the cooling plate, which resists the heat transfer. Uh, because uh, ice has a has a low heat transfer as compared to metal, so the liquid metal contacting with the air transfer more. He uh, absorb more absorb more heat, so heat transfer to be higher, so it has a better efficiency. But if if the uh, if the if the ice layer on the cooling plate uh, comes in the uh, in in the cooling plate, so it resists the it resists the absorption of heat from in compartment itself. Uh, it gives some cooling throughout the surrounding but the temperature uh, but the absorbent cap capacity becomes lower so now the upcoming fridges are coming with the force convection and uh, the a, the fan is installed inside the uh, fridge you which you cannot see by your eyes because it is hidden in the compartment uh, but, and also you cannot see the cooling plate because it is also in the inside compartment so there will be force convection flow it is about some uh, electric device but now we have a bigger uh, vision related to the, to the uh, free convection or natural convection especially related to your uh, infrastructure designs of the buildings um, let's have in some example uh, before going to example i just uh, need to show you uh, the value of h with the different uh, in different uh, forms of uh, liquid gases and like in free convection in uh, the free convection of gases the h value the convection heat uh, the convection the coefficient of heat uh, convection heat transfer is between 2 to 25 okay and the free convection in the liquid is 10 to 1000 so in the liquid we have a higher convection uh, heat convection uh, in convection as compared to the gases and it we are talking about the free convection that is naturally air or water moves upward due to the density different and it uh, removes the heat so the ash value is lower in the gases and is higher in the liquid so basically in liquid uh, are better heat conductor as compared to gases and what about the force convection the force convection of the gases will can be beyond from 25 to 250 okay so now you are pulling some air by some external force like fan uh, or in liquid in liquid case we have a pump so definitely 
when when we pushes air with the more rapid velocity more air contact with the hotter body so it will release more heat so definitely uh, it will it will release more heat so the uh, uh, convection heat transfer coefficient will have the higher value of the force convection and in the liquid uh, uh, force convection in the liquid is beyond <coughs> is value beyond from 50 to 20000 watt per meter square uh, degree centigrade and the boiling and the condensation you already learned that boiling and condensation in the refrigeration in in the uh, co uh, in uh, in refrigeration cycle as well as in the uh, steam cycle when we have a phase change from liquid to gas from uh, from liquid to gas or from gas to liquid the value of h is even more higher okay now what about uh, the application of heat, uh, convection, uh, natural convection heat transfer inside the buildings this is an example now and uh, now in upcoming uh, now uh, now the days in <coughs> we have a famous uh, place like in turkey uh, where uh, first it is a place for the christian uh, for the so it's a Christian uh, prayer area or it's a church in Byzantine Empire but Sultan Muhammad Fateh conquered and now then it's uh, become a masjid and from the last five year, 500 year uh, people pray and uh, offer namaz but in 1930s uh, Atatur Kamal convert again into the museum but now recently in the last Friday uh, again the uh, the turkey minister the turkey prime minister uh, offered the namaz over there and started it again a masjid so it uh, hagia sophia uh, and we have not only this building but in the previous uh, buildings you feel that when you goes into that building you can you you can feeling a cooling effect without any placing of air conditioning without any fans you uh, you feel the blowing air and how the blowing of air <coughs> comes into that kind of uh, sorry that's uh, kind of uh, uh, constructions because of the because of the circular dome circle dome especially in masjids we, we found that domes uh, the application of domes is because of the natural convection because we have a large tall area in which when the person comes inside the mosque or inside the hall the hotter air goes up and the colder air from the windows uh, taken place uh, that that position and the naturally there will be a currents of air flows without any placing any external fans and blows we have a natural convection flow so uh, you are most related peoples because you are going to in a design firm on any other place so you you just uh, in when, whenever you are in, in in designing anything or placing uh, any fa uh, any com comfortable zone designing any comfortable zone you can include this natural convection phenomena and reduce the external energy taken by the fans and as fans and blowers in, inside the buildings so this dome structure by making this dome structure tall building tall dome structure produce a natural currents of flow without any external uh, fence etc so we we have we feel a cooling effect blowing of air from outside air and the heat is taken away uh, from outside the building without without the expense of the fence uh, nowadays i I feel that uh, we uh, our building are designed opposite to it we placed fan on the top of the uh, roof that blows hot air to the uh, ground uh, oppositely we should place fans in the uh, in the windows which place which blow fresh air outside to the inside and also we have to place uh, exhaust fan on the top of the roofs or building or we have we constructed uh, that kind of the building in, in which we have a windows above on the top area so we just placed or open that window so we, naturally there should be a natural exhaust system okay uh, 
uh, so it is related to your uh, field so i just uh, explain it or play some uh, some of the examples um, that you can use in your future upcoming uh, professional career i hope you you realize this kind of uh, thing so uh, buildings become more operational uh, cheaper and have a high efficiency and have a better uh, comfort zone for the people anyway now we uh, now we need to come into the numericals uh, we know that newton law of cooling formula q the heat transfer rate is h a t s minus t infinity t infinity is the surrounding area temperature t as the hot body temperature a s is the surface area of the hot body okay and h is the heat transfer coefficient so this is an example example 1.8 so we just need to solve it first we read out and then we solve it uh, so it is a basically i just need to uh, ex clear the surface area now yes yes in this particular example when the heat is blowing uh, towards that area the surface area will be area will be this okay this will be the surface area now it is a side view but it when you see in the top view it will be it has a square shape okay so uh, higher the area higher will be heat transfer rate higher the convection heat transfer coefficient as you know as we learned that in the liquid the h value is very higher in the gases it is lower and then the free convection basically we have a lower velocity so we have a lower h value but in force convection we can have a very high velocity by some external force so we can have a higher value and how much the temperature difference will will be the greater will be the heat transfer so in example 1.8 a 2 meter long that is a 2 meter long diameter electrical wire uh, extend across a room at 15 degree centigrade as shown in figure 1.37 heat is generated in the wire as a result of resistance heating and the surface temperature of the wire is measured to be 152 steady operation in a steady operation so <coughs> all steady means it is not changing with respect to time so the rate heat transfer rate we just take this value if if, if it is a problem of unsteady you cannot apply the same formula because the temperature is changing of this metal rod with respect to time also the voltage drop electric current through the wire are measured to be 60 voltage and 1.5 current respectively disregarding uh, the any heat transfer by radiation determine the convection heat transfer coefficient for heat transfer between the outer surface of the wire and inside the room so the outer surface of the wire is contacting with the surrounding air now the heat transfer is taken from two kind of surface area this uh, circumference area of the uh, wire and the area of circumference is if we uh, basically if we zoom this yes this circumference area of the wire and this is a perpendicular area of or radial area of the wire you can see that the diameter of the wire is very lower so we can uh, neglect this heat transfer rate actually there will be heat transfer rate but in this particular numerical we are we can uh, we can uh, Uh, neglect this kind of heat transfer because it is a very lower value so we have three surface in which by which the heat transfer can take place this uh, circumference area this uh, radial area two radial area and one circumference area to to ease that numerical to uh, to make less complicated we just neglect these two heat transfer rate from this uh, Per, per, uh, this radial area and just we take this uh, circumference area because we get the temperature of this circumference temperature not the radial temperature if we need to find out this we also need to have the temperature of this radial surface okay now we can ask so we read out the uh, numerical we get the values now I need to solve the numerical yes yes uh, let's close my yeah, this and we have data 
uh, we, we have a uh, some area is how much the surface area oh yes uh, the for this particular manacle the surface area will be circumferential area we just take circumferential area the, the formula of circumference is 2 pi r we just need to have our value of radius we get the value of area okay uh, now we have a value of we need to uh, we need to find out the h heat transfer coefficient and we have a temperature of surface 152 that is ts 152 degrees centigrade and we have a t infinity surrounding area is 15 degrees centigrade okay now applying that formula uh, q q dot and the q dot will be heat uh, heat transfer due to the electrical resistance and the electrical resistance here uh, power formula will be voltage into current and this q is equal to h this is i sorry current h a uh, delta not delta t it is ts minus t infinity yes it is ts minus sorry t infinity so voltage is uh, 60 i think 16 one two point five yes 60 uh, we have a voltage we have a voltage 60 and 1.5 current layer this voltage 16 multiply 1.5 uh, is equal to uh, we need to find out h and this a sorry we have to put this bracket also the whole h multiply by with ts minus infinity so a ts minus t infinity goes into the denominator and the value of a will be it's it's 2 pi r is circumference multiplied by length okay we also have to multiply it with the length uh, if we see the picture let me explain yes uh, this circular area the circular is uh, formula of is, is circumference is 2 pi r and this circumference is elongated to the whole length and the length is 2 meter long and the diameter is 0.3 centimeter so the area will be 2 pi r this circumference multiplied by whole length okay we miss in the when we are applying the form of this okay so now mm, this area will be uh, 2 pi and the radius is uh, 0.3 so we divide by 0.3 with the centimeter so we can apply divide by with 100 into 2 meter long this is whole area area and uh, ts is uh, basically 152 minus 15 okay again I just did one mistake thing uh, 0.3 centimeter diameter it is a diameter I just did it directly we have to remember that when you are going to solve this numerical in your paper always write data 
okay i just not did a com write complete data that why i just uh, miss some parameter so it we right now we have a, a 0.3 centimeter diameter not a radius and we apply the formula of radius so we have to divide it by 2 to get the radius okay this 0.3 is also divided by 2 so we can so we can write this like this this is basically diameter okay and by using this by solving this you can you will get the value of h is 34 point let's six in the yes 34.9 watt per meter square kelvin Four point nine watt per meter square Kelvin, or you can also write degree centigrade because it is a difference of temperature, and now it is better to write degree centigrade over here because we have solved in degree centigrade. Okay now we find out the value of heat transfer coefficient for this particular example uh, we have some time so we can also solve one more numerical very short numerical uh, i hope it, this numerical is will be clear for you people it's a very simple numerical we just find out the uh, heat transfer coefficient now for the second numerical, uh, the hot air at 80 degrees centigrade is blown over 2 meter and 3.4 uh, 3 meter flat surface. Like we have a flat surface, mm -hmm, why it is not writing, okay. We have a flat surface like this, okay. So we have a force convection. So there will be some fan which blowing air from this surface area. So we have an area of uh, 2 multiplied by 3.4 okay and we have uh, we, sh we can solve the numerical over here okay and we have temperature 30 degrees centigrade and it, uh, if the average convection heat transfer coefficient is 55 watt per meter Calvin determine the heat transfer from air to plate okay we have to find out the uh, heat transfer that how much the heat transfer will be taken from this 2 meter long and 3 4 my uh, 3 3.5 4 meter long and 2 meter wide flat surface so we need to find out the q dot okay in kilowatt so here we can go uh, we have a formula q dot is equal to h a h a t s minus t infinity uh, we have a, a h value minus h value is 55 i think yes 55 80 30 and 2 55 and we have area 2 multiplied by 3.4 and the temperature we have a high temperature surface temperature 80 and the blowing air temperature is 30 it is in degree centigrade we can write even you can uh, convert into the Kelvin the temperature will be same like 50 okay so when you solve this numerical when you apply multiply whole 55 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3.4 multiply the 50 you get 18,000 18,700 watt 18,700 watt so convert into the kilowatt it will be 18 point 18.7 18.7 kilowatt okay now this numeric also solve and we also completed our time so let's uh, so we'll see in 
the next lecture lecture number 21 and 24 in between best of luck for the papers for best luck for the midterms and final examination if you have any question query you can uh, write and write an email or uh, comments on the uh, stream section of this uh, lecture when i upload it okay till then for the office i hope uh, i clear many ideas related to the heat transfer coefficient heat transfer rate and also give an example of dome structure buildings how the uh, how the the naturally heat can be uh, reject from uh, the building and we have a natural blow of air and uh, position of the uh, ac and cooling plate in fridges and a stove or radiator in the room okay so i in the next uh, class we will cover the last topic of heat transfer that is uh, radiation and after radiation one to two numerical we will go towards the overall heat transfer in which all the modes of heat transfer taken place convection uh, conduction radiation and also we uh, solve the numerical related to the building construction of the buildings like actual wall of the bricks and uh, insulating materials with the uh, added with the insulating materials so you can apply in your uh, after graduation you can apply on your own field or in your own design criteria okay till then hudafis best of luck for the midterm and exam